What's up guys? I'm Crystal Lee Naomi, aka Jasmine Borders, now Tyler Perry's sisters. Be sure to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review for not only reviews on the Haves and the Have Nots, but also on sisters. And while you're at it, give your girl a follow on Instagram at Crystal Lee Naomi. And I'll see you every Wednesday at night only on BET. All right, sisters fans, time to go into a discussion about probably the most divisive. <laughs> portion of this week's episode and that was when Karen opted to walk out and not support this marriage between Andy and Gary so a lot of people were wondering and discussing whether or not Karen was in the wrong or if she was in the right so before going forward in the video you all know what to do by now hit that thumbs up button to show you like the video hit subscribe hit the bell notification icon and select all that way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Now I put a poll up on YouTube a couple days ago. Was Karen in the wrong for not supporting Andy and Gary's wedding? And with over 700 votes, 22% said yes. 78% said no. And you know, I, I've seen like a mixture of opinions on this. Some people feel like... uh Oh, yeah, Karen's just hating. She's upset. You know, the fact that her and Zach aren't working out. He's with Fatima. She's not with anybody she wants to be with. So why should anybody else be happy but her? But I feel like it goes a little bit deeper than that, in my opinion, that is. I feel like overall, um, it just seemed like she was made out to be the bad guy when in all actuality, I feel like Karen had as much... Um, you know, right to walk out of the wedding as it was for Andy to say, you know what, no matter what you girls say, I'm going to marry, sorry about this seat, hate this chair, um, I'm going to marry Gary anyway, so I feel like uh, I get it, you know, like it was made for Karen to be the bad guy, like Andy wanted her best friend to be there, but at the end of the day, I understand, I, mean, I think Danny made a great point, you know, in regards to how to handle this Andy situation, you know, it was, uh, consistent with her character that look no matter what we do no matter what we say andy's grown she can make her own decision she has to make her own mistakes so i get that she accepts that and her supporting the wedding hey she's going to be there for a girl that's fine but i do feel like danny was out of pocket for saying karen was wrong for not supporting the wedding that was her choice you know i feel like this discussion reminds me of uh Captain America Civil War when they're discussing the uh, Sokovia Accords because I feel like there's really no right or wrong you know both sides have strong arguments but at the same time both sides aren't perfect there are flaws in the reasoning of both sides the side that says Karen is wrong versus the part that says uh, Karen is in the right but I made a lengthy Facebook post about this and I talked about there are times where Karen gets unnecessary hate. I know, or, you know, maybe hate is too much of a strong word, but based off things I've seen online is hate. But l let me just say a lot of people dislike Karen, but it isn't fair. I feel like that's a fair reasoning, um, you know, to word situation. You know, just looking at the fact that Karen gets a lot of flack because obviously She's mean to Fatima. She got Zach locked up. And those two are fan favorites. So it makes sense that any character or characters who don't like what the majority of the fans like, they're going to be disliked by most of the fan base. But the thing about it is, um, when you look at the early season and even in the season two, Danny's whole thing was the fact that she doesn't like people holding out on her when it comes to not just gossip, but, you know, important information amongst the friend group. Karen's whole thing is the fact that she feels like there's never anybody on her side. It's like people are on Zach's side, people are on Andy's side, but I'm the villain. What's wrong with that? Yeah, what's wrong with this picture? But there are two cases where I feel like Karen got unnecessary flack from her girls when in all actuality she was in the right the entire time. I mean, I, I think of two cases, uh, one in season two. Remember early on in season two when Zach and I said, if there was one misstep that he did aside from hooking up with Karen in the salon, one of the biggest things was when Tyler Perry wrote it where, where Zach broke into the hotel room to attack 
Aaron when he was in the middle of having sex with Karen. And then he got arrested. And then for some reason, Danny and Andy, I don't think Sabrina knew about it or even commented on it. But they tried to make Karen feel bad and guilty for Zach being locked up. When in all actuality, that was his thing. He, he did that. Nobody made him do that. You know, Pam unintentionally let Zach know the location because like, oh, Karen's going to this hotel. So, you know, I bought some wine and flowers. You can pay me back later because, you know, she thought that they two, those two were hooking up for a special night without knowing she was actually giving the location of the hotel and the room number to Zach when it was actually Karen and Aaron. So he went over there. He broke in. And then as a result, you know, attacked Aaron, causing property damage. He got arrested. And Danny was calling Karen, telling him to, telling her to bail him out because, Karen, he could lose his job. So? And I thought, yeah, I mean, that was his fault for breaking the law and everything. And then Andy came over to the salon and tried to vouch for Zach, too. Like, you know, power to the people or, you know, free justice for Zach. You know, she gave, like, the, you know, black power fist. And I'm like, why? Like, Karen did nothing wrong. That, no. No, she was not the villain here. She wasn't in the wrong. And I couldn't believe her friends, of all people, tried to make her feel bad. You know, that's just my opinion. I feel like overall, it was just a dumb way to make, you know, Karen feel sympathetic for Zach. But, you know, at the end of the day, wasn't it Fatima that got him out because of chain breakers? Because, you know, that's when they first met up when she hit him with the car. So, overall... You know, that's one example of how the girls try to make Karen to be bad or a villain and nobody's on her side because they're teaming up with Zach when in actuality, they should have been concerned about Karen. It's like, your ex broke into the, uh, you know, hotel room when you were with Aaron. Are you okay? But no, you need to get Zach out. No, that was stupid. And then, of course, the more recent one being the wedding is, yeah, I mean, if your best friend was about to do something completely asinine, which you knew could put them in a very dangerous situation, with their lives on the line. And remember, these girls don't know about the Jasmine stuff. They only know about the Gary stuff and what Jasmine said about the countryside and everything. They don't know about the parking garage fight or the gun stuff. Except for Fatina knowing about the parking garage fight. So, as fans who know more than most of the women do about the Andy and Gary stuff, why would anybody say Karen is in the wrong? I mean, if she doesn't want to support this, then she doesn't have to support it. I mean, I feel like it's kind of in the same vein of, uh, I know this is a touchy subject, but let's say the funeral of a close family member, let's say a parent, aunt, sibling, a relative in general. Some pe Sometimes people don't go to those funerals because they didn't have the best relationship. Oh, you know, abusive parent or, you know, one of their aunts or uncles or somebody, you know, molested them when they were younger or, you know, just bad blood in general. And then the family says, well, you know, you want to go to the funeral. It's like, no, you have to respect my feelings to not go. Just like I respect your feelings to attend it. So you don't know everything that goes on between everybody else. So it's like, I don't see why people are making Karen out to be the villain. Yeah, I didn't like the way she kind of had a cold shoulder to Fatima, you know, basically being bitter towards her. But thankfully, Fatima just said, like, look. He tried to bring up you a lot. Well, his ex a lot. I shut it down. Never mention your name. I just know Andy needs support. I'm going in. I know she would like for you to be there too. And then that's it. So I feel like Karen only annoyed me when it came to the Fatima stuff. But when it came to her standing up to Gary, when it came to her walking out on the wedding, I had no issue at all. So I feel like overall, there was a lot of flack that Karen gets, which she doesn't deserve. Not to mention the fact that it's easy to look at the Zack in the present and like him, but don't forget the man was trash. Her first scene, Karen's first scene, was getting tested because Zack had cheated and she was wondering if she had some sort of, uh, you know, venereal disease as a result. So, Zack was trash. He's doing better now, but don't think that the Zack of the present was always the Zack in the series. Karen was a victim too. Just saying. But that's all I got in this um, video. You know, let me know your two cents. And I'm not trying to act like the fan police telling you who to like and not like. Because you've seen my videos and posts. I've talked about whenever I haven't liked Karen as a character. But overall, I just feel like a lot of the disdain towards her now 
really isn't warranted so just my two cents so let's talk about it in the comment section below and if you'd like to donate to the channel feel free to do so on paypal or cash app